Excellency Sun Tsai Sipandon, Prime Minister of Laos People Democratic Republics, distinguished women leaders from ASEAN member states, Excellency ASEAN Secretary Generals, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I would like to congratulate the ASEAN Chair, Laos People's Democratic Republic, for hosting the third ASEAN Women Leaders Summit today. The team of strengthening care economy and resilient towards ASEAN community post-2025 is indeed crucial in building people-centered community towards a gender equal, sustainable, inclusive, and resilient society. I believe that the key deliverables from the discussions among key stakeholders can serve as valuable inputs for ASEAN leaders to promote and recognize the value of care work, both paid and unpaid, as well as domestic works. I can proudly refer to this platform as a realization of ASEAN's commitment towards improving the quality of life and well-being of people of ASEANs, to prepare ASEANs to be stronger, resilient, and sustainable in response to complex crises and new challenges. The care economy cuts across most of the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, growth and social development cannot be stable without care support. Investing in care work is a core approach for gender equality, human capital development, well-being, and inclusive and sustainable economic growth. The care economy encompasses both paid and unpaid care work, as well as domestic work, which is mostly performed by women. This often poses significant barrier for women, preventing them from fully assessing opportunity, exercising their full potential, and participating in meaning, meaningfully in development. Against this backdrop, the ASEAN's Comprehensive Framework on Care Economy was introduced in 2021, and I would like to reiterate Cambodia's support for this strategic move in the, light, in the right directions. In fact, the policy of my administrations, the Pentagon's No Strategy Phase 1, shares the same missions and objectives, notably on the efforts to provide social protection for all. Recently, we have just launched the Roadmap Towards Universal Health Coverage 2024-2035. Several programs and interventions have been laid out, namely, one, Expanding Health Equity Fund for Vulnerable Families and Healthcare Services to Achieve Universal Health Coverage. Two, institutionalizations, the National Social Protection Assistance Program for Poor Household and at Risk Household during Economic Crisis and Emergencies. Three, providing care and support for the elderly and people with disabilities. Four, ensuring maternity protection. Five, offering childcare and community preschools and school feeding program to support families and women of working age. Our social protection schemes have also been expanded to cover domestic workers, entertainment workers, and those in the informal economy. Childcare facilities in both public and private institutions have been set up to support families and women workers in need of assistance. As an overarching program related to women, the Royal Government of Cambodia also unleashed a strategy entitled Niri Ratana 6, the National Strategy 2024-2028 on Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment, which has been implemented five phases already. The sixth version has specifically highlighted the care economy as one of the main priorities to address the current and future social issues emerging for demographic changes, social inequalities, and development changes. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the issues of the care economy and their challenges are structural in nature. 
and therefore they require a holistic approach from each government, complemented by further coordinated action from all ASEAN member states. Cambodia is always ready to contribute in a meaningful mean manner to the regional effort, and I look forward to the adoption of the ASEAN Declaration on Strengthening Care Economy and Resilience Towards ASEAN Community post-2025 in the near future. I wish this summit a great success and wish Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the four Buddha blessing of longevity, nobility, health and strength. Thank you very much.